Make room. Oh, right, here we go then. Make room! Oh, right, that chair. Oh, cheers, Dad. Ooh, ah, there you go. Sausages. Oh, thanks. It'll be all right. Look, it's just caught at the edges. Yeah, but it's fine, Dad. I feel like I'm 11 again. You should do this more often. I think my stomach could hack it, Dad. Well, your mum will be back at the weekend. But mum don't cook me breakfast. I'll get me home. How's it going at school? Yes, it's all right. You worried about your exams? Yeah, a bit. Uh, it's worth to worry. Mm. You just have to think. It's for the future. Get yourself a decent job. Bring in the money when you're married and got a family. I'll be married, Dad. Hard work. That's worth it, though. So you enjoy your freedom while you can. What do you mean? Well, when you're married, you have to be responsible. You can't go running around with your mates all the time. Mm. You don't have to eat that. No, no, it's fine, Dad. You in tonight if I cook supper? Yeah, yeah, but I've got to go now. You're in good time. Yeah, I've got to meet somebody. Right. Nice, is she? Yeah. Thanks for the breakfast, Dad. Cheers. Hostner, this is Radio News, North London. More than 100 officers were involved in the raid. Police have been watching this day for several months and the raid was planned with military precision. 31 arrests were made and a quantity of the drug crack was seized. The precise amount has yet to... Hello? Yeah, I was just listening to it on the radio. Look, I've got to get this homework finished. Why don't you call for me? <laughs> yeah, but not half as dangerous as Max, eh? I'm a day late already. Right. OK, then. Right, see ya. Gentlemen, the rules. Each trough specific to each boat. Um, agreed payload. Ah, no contact with boat in trough except for turning. And start at 12.50 precisely. Sir? Hmm? Hard to believe Mrs. McCloskey's leaving. Yes, and there goes the hot favourite. Heaven forbid. Um, all agreed, gentlemen. Yes. I all agree. agree. Okay, must push on. Young love, eh? You can talk. Me? Guys, girl. Oh, Justin. I don't know what you're on about. Matthew. I mean, nice for a pet, but boyfriend for two, I don't know. Look, just because I'm friendly with a boy. Friendly? Friendly, Nat. Oh, come on, leave her alone. We know she's not interested, really, don't we? Oh, right. Oh, this is getting bad. So you say Matt? No, I thought he was with you. No. I'll tell you, you're going to be well chugged later. This race is no competition. Oh, yeah. The uh, kids seem to be taking this race very seriously. <laughs> the kids? Oh, yes. Yes, I feel quite confident myself. Well, may the best man win. Trial run, is it? Matthew. Uh, yes. Did you hear about the drugs raid this morning, miss? Heard something about it, yes. Matthew! It's obvious what she should do. Is it? Look, she's got a future to think of, a whole life ahead but of her. But the only thing is... Keep your voices down. The only thing is there's two futures to think of. And two lives. What about that baby? 
You can't treat a baby like it's nothing. Waste, you know. All I can say is I know what I'd do. As if we didn't know what that'd be. Not get myself in this situation in the first place. Oh, it's not up to Chrissy, that is, Leave it out, you two. It's not just Chrissy who should be worried, you know. What do you mean? Oh, she's underage, isn't she? Now, borrow your little, please. It's a grill from the cooker in it, sir. Yes, that's right. But it's too wide. Well, he got involved because I felt sorry for him, and now I think he's gone off his head. Ah, oh, Henry, could you uh, bring that lid? Oh, yeah, sure. Where have you been? They're here. Who's here? The smugglers. Yeah? Here in the school. It's got to be us they're after. I knew it. Maybe they were involved with that raid last night and they're on the run and they're armed. You've got to go to the police. It's too risky. I mean, you know what they do to people with grass. One of them outside in the van. This is serious. Oh, so what are we gonna say? Dangerous drug smugglers are chasing us all around the school. Oh yeah, they go for that one, all right. Okay, I don't Look, their van is parked outside, and we can't hang around all day. So what we have to do is just lie low till dinner time. And then the police. Then the police. What's up with you lot then? Oh. I've been attending to visitors. Excuse me, Mrs. Monroe. <coughs> uh, pay attention, please. Now, does anyone recognize this? Hmm? Um, it's a ceiling <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, very good, Alice, but uh, I was referring to the footprint. Hmm? No? Right. Well, I have only one thing to say to the person concerned, and that is, I am getting there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Quiet. Quiet. Entertainment is always welcome. Well, Neil, how's business? Steam machine. Five to one against. <laughs> How long do you think he can hang around for? Who knows? Oh, I still say we should have bunked it. No. All right, everyone listening? Change of plans. Don't get out any materials. There's no art lesson today. Oh, Why not? Yes. Because there's something else. Yeah, but I want to do this. Bring them along when you're ready, Miss Booth. Won't well, be a moment, Mrs. McCluskey. She's leaving. No, not McCluskey. She comes with the furniture. Oh, no, it would be then, don't you? Oh, no. So where are we going, then? To the hall. Why? Because. Well, come on. Don't just sit there. Off you go. Come on, where are So, um, what is of this? Where's the place, sir? I can have show my do. Now, one of the things we've been learning about in drama... It's supposed to be art. ...is the use of imagination. How many of you have ever been on a ghost train? Yeah. yeah. What did you, what did you think? Oh, it was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I did like that bit when it went dark. Yeah, you can imagine all sorts of things, can't you? Yeah. Can imagination. <laughs> imagination can sometimes be your worst enemy, sometimes your best friend. Now, today, we're all going to take part in a project that's going to use our imagination to the full. First of all, I need three volunteers. Have you seen anything? No. You know where the safest place is right now, don't you? There. Miss. Yeah, and me. Yeah, and me, Miss. And now you are going on a journey. Who knows where it will end? But remember, the only thing you have to fear.
the world, people are living in fear and danger. And our play is about them. Prisoners of conscience. Prisoners of religion. Prisoners of fear. And to begin our story, we need witnesses from their dark world. You, reach out your hands and join in our story. What do you feel? Metal. Yes. Handcuffs, perhaps? Why? Well, to lock people up. Prisoners. Exactly. And you? Metal bars. Yes. Well, pretty obvious, isn't it? Prison. And now, your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Why, yeah. Akin? Yeah? Who's the wrong bear on? Akin, of course. So how do the Timpsons make their money? If Mackenzie wins. They must be in a nun. It's cold. Yes. It's a gun! No! It's all right, sir. It's only a man. Hey, back. It's only a fly. It's a man. It's a man. Here, is this all part of the plot? Shut up, you. I haven't made up my mind. It must be really hard. Yeah, the thing is, Ted doesn't see that other people have got them. Why not? I think behind it all, he's more worried about himself and what will happen when it does get out. What, your brother is though? No, not that. So what can happen? Oh, you mean you're only being 15? Yeah, that. Chris is below the legal age of consent and you've broken the law. Technically. You mean I could go to prison? Well, there's only two years difference in your ages, which means the police are unlikely to prosecute. Yeah, unlikely, but not definite. Unlikely. You told your parents yet? My mum's going to kill me. It's only fair to give them a chance to help you. Yeah, it's not as easy as that, though. I know. Came to see me, then. Yeah. You're not the first. Please, <laughs> 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 lads. I'm getting really worried about you. <laughs> But Matthew's Mr. Sensible. He won't do nothing stupid, will he? What, like burning down a hostel? It's all right. He'll turn up. I'll drop dead and do it somewhere else, eh? Cool. Did I say something wrong? You've got to be able to take a joke. Yeah, when it is a joke. Oh, like on Dartmoor, the mad X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Raymond's on your side, Richard, then he must be all right, yeah? There we are. Very light, very powerful, and very fast. We finished our work, sir. Do you want to be out, Mr. Mackenzie? Uh, by all means, girls, yes. Straight as. <laughs> or Mr. Mackenzie, eh? Yeah. <laughs> He's definitely on the turn. I'm so confident with it. What's that, sir? Time, I think, I let you into my little secret. It's for these. Come on, find the one. I hope you're right. Trust me. Yeah, there's the money and you the money. Yeah. What do you fit on the steam machine? Buy the one. Take it. Take it. Steam machine? Buy the one. Take a pound. You're out, isn't ya? Yes or no, Timpson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Steam machine. Excuse me. Mind your back. Who do you think is going to win? Ah, I'm adjudicating Peter, totally impartial. Although I should have thought it was obvious. Oh, yeah? Uh, what's in there? Coal? Uh, no. Uh, everybody ready? Uh, not quite. Hmm? In the rules it says agreed payroll. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think six of these should just about make it fair. Fair? A test of power weight ratio. <laughs> you didn't think I'd be daft enough to go for a straight race for speed against that wee thing, did you? <laughs> well, did you? Oh, yes, but I mean, I have no oh, time. Oh, I see. 
the hare against the tortoise, eh? Hare and tortoise. Mm. It's all okay. Mm. Mm. Right. Oh, oh, I So what's happening with your mum, then? Well, she's been all right at the moment. No, I mean about me getting to see her or not. Oh, well, I haven't said anything yet. You're going to have to tell your mum and dad soon. Yeah, I know that, Chrissy. Yeah, well, pull it off only makes it worse. Yeah, well, it dealt with you decided what to do. I don't know yet. Yeah, well, I thought this counselling was supposed to help me decide. Well, it is my own time, without pressure. It is my decision, Ted. Yeah, OK, OK, I'm sorry. I went to see McCluskey this morning. McCluskey? What for? I don't know. I was worried. I didn't know where I stood. Well, how do you mean? Well, legally. Oh, come on, Chris. You're only 16, are you? Has your mum said anything about it? No. They won't do anything to you. I wouldn't let them. It was both of us. It's not just your responsibility. No, it's just they might say, you know, that I forced you or something. Well, that's not the truth, is it? So, uh, you'll talk to your dad tonight? Yeah. I'll walk you home, if you can bear it. Then I'll wait outside. Oh, I don't know, Chrissy. It's what they call support. Yeah, yeah, OK. Good. And fair, I think. Yes, uh, well done. Well done, nice try. And the winner is Steam Machine! Hey, steady, steady, steady. All right? Don't ever do anything like that to me again. I'm sorry I missed the race, sir. That's all right, Matthew. Hello. All right. Look at your hair. Yeah? That's nice. Well, that told you. See anybody? No. Just go there. Oi, you two. Oh, hello, girls. We was just... Yeah, I know. Money. Well, you see... No money, right? Yeah, not on me. Look, I don't like the way this situation's working out. Raymond? Yeah? Oi! <laughs> I told you they had a plan. Well, it isn't working too well now, is it? Oh. <laughs> Chrissy, I don't know what I'm going to say to him. Yeah, well, I wanted to be a brain surgeon, but things aren't working out that way. Yeah. Well, go on. Well, here goes, then. That you? Yeah. Yeah, what'd you say to spaghetti bolognese? I don't want your mother thinking we can't look after ourselves. You all right? Yeah. What's that? Just not that hungry, Dad. Oh. Dad. Yeah? I think you'd better sit down. You said he was doing so well. I know. 
the chemotherapy? It wasn't successful, I'm afraid. There are still some cancer cells left. Well, what can you do? I mean, there must be something you can do. If we can find a suitable donor, Brian could possibly have a bone marrow transplant. This involves further intensive chemotherapy and total body irradiation. Because he hasn't got any brothers and sisters, we're going to have to check a donor register which covers the whole country. Well, couldn't we be donors? Yes. Well, yes, we can give you a test, but it's unlikely you're going to be a perfect match. Brian's chances depend entirely on us finding a suitable donor. And if you don't find one? Well, let's hope. <sighs> Thank you very much for coming. We really appreciate you being here. We're all rooting for Brian at Grange Hill, Mrs. Shaw.